Hello friends, welcome to Easy Homemade Projects. In today's video, I will show you how to make tablet and capsule counting machine. With the help of this machine, you can count tablets and capsules of different sizes. Before we continue with today's video, I want to give a big thanks to JLCPCB for supporting this project. If you love building electronics like I do, JLCPCB makes it super easy to order PCBs and PCB assembly. You just upload your Gerber files, bill of material file, pick and place file, get an instant quote and your order is placed within minutes. And when it comes to reliability, JLCPCB really stands out. They use premium A-grade materials, they have full in-house production, strict quality control and a super fast 24-hour turnaround. That is exactly how I got the boards for today's project. They are currently running a special offer to get $30 off premium 6-layer PCBs plus 2 micro-inch ENIG finish and no engineering fees for VI in pad. All links are in the description below. Now let's get back to the build. Okay guys, so after a few days, we got our PCBs from JLC PCB. Here is the box. Let me open it to show you our new PCBs. As you can see, the build quality is really nice and perfect as always. Here are all the components that are required to complete our control board PCB. First of all here you can see 510 kilo ohm resistors and 61 kilo ohm resistors. Here is a MEX 7219 7 segment display driver IC with this base and here are some male and female heater pins. A 7805 voltage regulator with this heat sink. A 220 microfarad capacitor and here are 3 5 mm LEDs two screw terminal blocks, BC547 transistor and uh, here are two D882 transistors, a DC power jack, a 5 volt buzzer and uh, here are four tactile switches and here you can see two seven segment display modules. The model number of this module is FJ5202AH. Both are common cathode modules. You can see the model number here. And uh, now I will solder all these components to our new PCB. Okay guys, so the component soldering is complete. And uh, now we will collect all the remaining materials that are required to complete our machine. Here are all the 3D printed parts that are required to make our machine. So here you can see the main frame of the machine and uh, here is the rotating disc this is the tablet size adjuster and uh, this is the NEMA 17 stepper motor bracket here are four spacers and uh, here is the sensor funnel we will also connect the IR sensor with this funnel after modification. This is the micro gear motor holder and uh, here is a small agitator and here is a small knob. Here are some nut bolts and screws. 
these four screws are two inches in length and these four screws are one inch long and all other nut bolts and screws are almost half inch long here are some other components that are required to complete our machine so here you can see an 8 by 10 inches piece of laminated sheet I already drilled the required holes in this piece and uh, here you can see this is our control board an Arduino A4988 stepper motor driver a 12 volt micro gear motor and uh, here is an IR sensor a flange for the stepper motor and uh, this is the NEMA 17 stepper motor and uh, here is a 12 volt DC motor speed controller and uh, now we will start making our machine now first of all we will connect this stepper motor bracket here with the help of these small screws Now this stepper motor will go here and uh, now we will tight it with the help of these screws. Now these spacers will be connected here with these four holes with the help of these long screws. And uh, now this sensor funnel will go here with the help of these screws. Now this flange will go here and later we will be able to adjust the height of this rotating disc with the help of this screw. And now this disc will go here. And uh, this part will go here. And uh, now we will tight it with the help of these screws. Make sure that this disc should rotate freely and should not touch anywhere. Now this tablet size adjuster will go here and we will tight it with the help of this screw and this knob. I put a small nut here. And uh, now this thing will go here. So we can adjust it according to the size of tablet. And uh, then we can tight it with the help of this knob. Now we will connect this micro gear motor here. and uh, this agitator here and uh, now this thing will go here with the help of these small screws here I modified the IR sensor I extended the wires of this white LED 
and uh, then I shifted this black LED from front side to back side. So during this modification make sure that the LED polarity should not be changed. And uh, now this sensor will be connected here. And uh, this white LED will be connected here. Like this. Okay guys, so our machine is now complete and uh, now it's time to make all the wiring connections with this control board PCB. So first of all, the Arduino Nano will be connected here. More information about the Arduino code you can get in the video description. And uh, now this motor driver will be connected here. Like this. All other wiring connections are very simple and also written on the PCB. Let me show you. As you can see, this small gear motor wires will be connected with these terminals with the help of this speed controller. So the plus minus from these two terminals will be connected here with V plus and V minus and then the motor wires will be connected here with M minus and M plus with the help of these screw terminals. And similarly the IR sensor wires will be connected here and the stepper motor wires will be connected here. Now let me do all these wiring connections and then I will be back. We will also need to put a jumper here on the middle pins to make the step settings for the stepper motor. Ok guys, so finally all the wiring connections are now complete. As you can see these motor wires are connected here with this speed controller. And then the speed controller wires are connected with this DC motor terminal as you can see here and uh, similarly the sensor wires are connected here with sensor terminals and uh, similarly the stepper motor wires are connected here with this stepper motor terminal and uh, then I connected this control board here with the help of some hot glue here I connected a piece of wire to remove the double tablets Ok guys, so finally our machine is now complete and ready to use. Now I am going to connect it with the DC 12 volt power supply source. So here you can see four buttons. This is start and this one is stop, up and down button. So we can control our machine with the help of all these buttons. We can set amount with these up and down buttons. If we press the button once, it will increase only one digit. And uh, if we long press the button, it will move very fast. So we can select a maximum amount of 9999 and uh, minimum is 1. So after selecting an amount, if we press the start button, the machine will start counting. Here we have 20 tablets in this tray and uh, now we will test our machine by counting these tablets. So first of all we will need to put all the tablets here and uh, then we will need to put this tray here and uh, now we will set an amount. So I selected 3 and uh, now we will start the machine. As you can see, the machine counts as exactly three tablets. Now once again.
as you can see now these are 6 and uh, now the 14 tablets are remaining now set the quantity to 14 and start the machine so as you can see all the tablets are counted perfectly So guys that's it for today's video all necessary information about this project you can find in the video description i hope you will like my this project share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe